women are putting ourselves in a constant state of duress, trying to reach the unreachable, to obtain the unattainable body image we are all supposed to possess regardless of financial status, genetic makeup, or creed. So I feel obligated today to use this platform to say, hey, Thami. I see you, girl, about to bust out them jeans. You know, one of the two pair that still fits you with the worn down, chafed out patches in between. Hey, Thami. I see you walking in a room, looking like you ought to have a band in your back pocket playing boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, or like you should be used to the floods of hey, Miss Parkers, that must follow you while the background plays as if on cue. I wanna get next to you. Hey, hey Tommy. Oh, you gonna act like you don't hear me? Oh, you gonna act like you ashamed like I shouldn't be praising the oversized thighs that ignoramus is dubbed as thunder thighs while I applaud you. Good Lord, you ethereal being, of course there is thunder in your strut. You stop hearts like lightning bolts with the power your legs possess. You are beaming and I see you. I see the muscles in your stance. I see the cornbread bed look like she used to run track legs. I see the proud tree trunks that hold you firmly in place whenever life tries to knock you off balance. I see the mess with me if you want to. You don't want them type of problems, bro. I will chunly the fuck out of you. I see the waistline in the double digits. I see your stretch marks and the way your pants grip. No need to hide that, baby girl. Those are merely proof of non-purchase. Proof that your curves are naturally blessed and you ain't have to Kim hey your shit. Proof that your derriere has a proper place to sit that actually fits. And you ain't out here walking around on capital P's or from the waist down looking like a set of wisdom teeth. Every stretch mark and spider vein are exactly where they're supposed to be. And for the record, that ain't cellulite. Those is just dimples for our other cheeks. So, you better walk like, I hope he's not watching me walk away. And you look back, and he is. You better look right at the vine that she bitch. Hey, Thomas. We, the proud possessors of cankles. You know, when you just think from your thighs to your knees to your ankles. No thigh gaps. Matter of fact, what is that? I didn't even know there was supposed to be a space until Facebook shoved that question in my face like, which are you? A heart? Or why? Neither one help, but that space is filled with thighs. You know, the type that make rompers look obscene. Um, the type that genuine might as well ride his little pony pass because there was barely enough room for you to fit in those jeans. Um, but don't trip on the size. Ain't you, ain't you heard? Thick thighs save lives. And well, if that's the case, I'm built like Florence Nightingale. Like Rescue 911, like Baywatch, the Rescue Chopper, the Life Jacket, and the Rap Tail. Like, I ate the whole Shirley season menu and I wears it well. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, hey, Tommy. Now, okay, jokes aside, it took me a second to upset things because that archaic BMI chart told me that on my stature, I'm considered obese that 5'2 should be 110 and not 168 pounds, child please. Now I know that thing is just a relic. That's the way Neanderthals think. Truth is, our faces are things of beauty. Our thighs are those of beast. So while society is at war with your body image, baby girl, you be at peace. If don't nobody else do, I see you, boo boo. You go in hell with them gams and all I got to say is, Hey, Thomas, that's my sex. Yeah.